In this video, we're going to look at the cumulative effects of inflation. Of inflation. We'll do these two examples. First, find the three-year inflation rate from December 1945 to December 1948. And example 8, find the 10-year inflation rate from December 2000 to December 2010. And we'll use both of those inflation rates to answer some questions. Okay. So, example 7 the first thing we need to do is go to page 250 and have a look at the CPI table. Okay, so that's page 250 CPI table. And if we look at 1945 to 1948. Okay, so this is December 1945 where the CPI is 18.2, the Consumer Price Index. There is no inflation rate given because this hasn't been calculated uh, for, the CPI has not been calculated for 1944, okay? So, um, so we don't have an inflation rate for, for the, the year of 1945, say. So, um, the first inflation rate then is in 1946. But the consumer price index in on December 1945 is 18.2, and then if you go down, you find the consumer price index for December 1948 is 24.1. So basically, 18.2 to 21.5 that's one year, 18.2 to 23.4 that's two years, 18.2 to 24.1 that's three years. Okay, so that's a three-year inflation rate we've got to calculate. Now in December 1945 the CPI I hope you agree was like we said 18.2 and in December 1948 the CPI was 24.1 so this CPI unit of measuring uh, the general cost of things has gone from 18.2 to 24.1 the infla inflation is the percentage increase in the CPI. If we want to get the three-year inflation rate, we take the CPI from 45, the CPI from 48, and we just use those two numbers to get the, you know, how how more expensive things got from here to here. I mean that that's I hope that's uh, clear. So the inflation rate. equals the percentage uh, change or increase of the CPI and how much did it increase well oh, well so that's going to be the increase to get percentage change or percentage increase you get the change or the increase over the initial amount and the increase is going to be what and what's the initial amount? Well, it starts at 18.2 in 1945, and the increase is 24.1 minus 18.2 will give you the increase, right? So we'll calculate that. So we get 5.9 over 18.2 okay and that gives us 0 0.32417 etc and let's write this as a percentage to one decimal place so we're going to put it as a percentage and that'll give us 32 point and we just need one decimal place so we'll just keep the four and then it'll round down after that so 32.4 percent okay so general prices of things increased by 32.4 percent in three short years big deal right uh, so if an item costs $300 in 1945 and the price of this particular item increased in accordance with the rate of inflation, what did it cost in 1948? Press pause and do that one really quickly and then I'll do it. Ok, 
Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So, um, what we need to do is to get the amount it increased by. So we're going to first of all get 32.4% of 300. And of course we turn that back into a decimal and multiply. So that's 0.324 or 0.324 times 300. Put that in your calculator. And we get 97.2. So the price would have increased by $97.20 basically. So the new price in 1948 would be this uh, plus 300, which would be, of course, $397.20. Okay. Find the sum. Next uh, question. Find the sum of the three inflation rates from 1945 to 1948. Okay, so what does that mean? Go to the table and have a look at the uh, inflation rates. So what I want you to notice is, okay, if we take 1946, CPI 25.1, inflation rate 18.1%. Now remember, we're measuring from December, the very end of 1945. So basically, think about it as 1946, you know, 1947, and then the very end of 1948, so that's 1948. So we're looking at the years 46, 47, 48. That's the three years we're looking at, right? So, because um, when you look at 1946, this 18.1% .1 means how much prices have increased from the end of 45 to the end of 46 okay 18.1 percent right so this is inflation rate basically to the end of 46 88.8 percent is the inflation rate to the end of 47 and three percent is the inflation rate to the end of 48 if we add those together just for fun let's see what we get 18.1%, 8 8.8%, .8 and 3.0%. Okay. So if we add those together, we, we add up, we get 9, 8 and 8 is 16, 16 and 3 is 9, carry the 1, 1 and 1 is 2. So we get 29.9%. Why is that not the same thing as 32.4%? Right? So what I'm trying to say is if we calculate our increases um, from December 45 to December 48, we'll get 21.5 minus 18.2. Um, That's 3.3 then 23.4 minus 21.5, that's 1.9, 24.1 minus 23.4, that's 0 0.7. So the increases we get are 3.3, uh, from here to here 3.3, from here to here 1.9, and from here to here 0 0.7. Now if we, um, what, what, the, um, if we want, really want to see how much the CPI has changed since 1945, if you want to compare it to 1945, you take each one of these and compare it to 18.2. So you'll go 3.3 uh, 3 over 18.2, uh, 1.9 over 18.2, uh, 0 0.7 over 18.2. So you're comparing it each time to what the C, what the value was in 1945. So if you did that, then these would indeed add up to 32.4 percent, because you keep, you keep comparing the increase to what it was in December 1945. Um, and so I'll just show you that. Oops, 3.3 over 18.2, uh, 0.18. So that's about. 18.1 percent, uh, which it should be. Uh, 1.9 over 18.2 is 10.4 percent, and um, 0 0.7 over 18.2 is 3.8 percent. Okay.
and um, of course we did some rounding so there's a little bit of rounding error but um, I mean you could basically if we were to add up all the, the parts at the end of the decimals you could basically call that 3.9 and they would all up add up to be carry the 1 carry the 1 32.4 percent right because we kept comparing the increase to 1945 but what the inflation rates do is they just compare the increases to last year so they're going to take their uh, three point what they what the inflation rates do is they take three point three and oh sure compare that one to eighteen point two but then they take one point nine the increase of one point nine and compare that to last year twenty one point five then they take the increase of zero point seven compare that to last year divide by twenty three point four so these numbers all add up to um, our twenty nine point nine percent okay and uh, of course the, these are this one would end up being as usual eighteen point one percent this one ends up being eight point eight percent and this one ends up being three point zero percent and of course when you add those up we just did right we just added those you get twenty nine point nine percent okay as we saw right so and of course that's less than 32.4 percent because uh, inflation rates just compare to the the uh, uh, enormous price last year right so the the increase isn't considered as much okay so so I hope I hope that's that's interesting and clear okay let's go on to example 8 I'm going to have you do this yourself so let's try example 8 yourself find the 10 year inflation rate from December 2000 to December 2010 and you'll need to go to page 250 so press pause and do that yourself press pause and do this yourself Okay, I hope you've tried it. I'm going to do it now. So the CPI in December 2000 was 174.0 and the CPI in December 2010 was 219.2. .2. So um, press pause and continue from here if you didn't get those right. Okay, I'm going to do it now. So the inflation rate is the percentage change in the CPI so that's the increase over the initial value so the initial value 174.0 and the increase 219.2 minus 174.0 right so 219.2 minus 174.45.2 so it's 45.2 over 174.0 or 174 and that gives us 0 0.25 0 0.25977 etc and we're going to round that to a to a decimal uh, to a percentage per, to percentage with one decimal place so round that to percentage with one decimal place. Okay, I'll do it now. So I need to move the decimal point one two spaces to the right, and that's twenty five point nine seven seven seven. Of course, but you see, I want to round up to just one decimal place. So I'm going to round this up, and then this becomes a ten, and then this. Uh, one goes over to here and that becomes a six so we get twenty six point zero percent right so the ten year inflation rate from two thousand two thousand and ten is twenty six percent so basically everything's increased by about a quarter in price um, officially anyway maybe more some would argue more 
If a basket of groceries cost two hundred dollars in two thousand and the price in the year two thousand and the price increased in accordance with the rate of inflation, what did that basket of similar of the same groceries cost in two thousand and ten? Press pause and do that one. Okay, press pause and do it. Did you try it? Okay, I hope you press pause. I'm going to do it now. So we need to get 26% of $200. And that's 0 0.26 times 200. Which gives us um, 52. And add that to 200. And the new price of the groceries is $252. Although there's a lot of debate about how much inflation has risen and um, some would argue that food prices have gone up a lot more than what the inflation rate would tell you.